Hello everyone and welcome to another informative video on software development methodologies. Today we are diving deep into the spiral model. We will explore each of its bases and provide multiple examples to help you understand how it works and why it's such a powerful approach in software development. So let's start the video. So this is the spiral model diagram. Okay. So now let's begin by understanding what 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 is the spiral model is all about. So spiral model is a risk driven approach to software development. It is called spiral because it involves a series of repeating cycles, each representing a development phase. So the first phase is planning. Think of this as a mapping out of your road trip. You identify the goals, risks, and available resources. It is a crucial to ensure that the project project's objectives are clear from the start. So, for example, imagine you are a developing an e-commerce website. In the planning phase, you set your goals like increasing user engagement and identify potential risks such as server crashes during high traffic. The second one is risk analysis. So this phase is all about assessing and mitigating risks. It's like checking the weather forecast before you your road trip to avoid unexpected storms. So let's say for example, you are developing a mobile app during risk analysis you identify the risk of compatibility issues on different devices and plan to address it proactively. So phase three is nothing but engineering and development. So this is nothing but where you start building the actual software. It's like hitting the road and making the progress towards your destination. Let's say for example, game development. If you are creating a video game, the engineering and the development phase involves coding the game mechanics, designing levels, and implementing graphics. The fourth phase is nothing but evolution. In this phase, you assess the results, just like stopping at a viewpoint to enjoy the scenery and see how far you have come. For example, for a financial software project, the evaluation phase could involve checking if the calculations are accurate and if the user interface in, in uh, user is user interface is an accurate or not. Final phase is refinement. Once you are evaluated the progress, it's time to make improvements. It's like fine tuning your road trip based on your experience. For example, if you are developing a healthcare system. Refinement may include enhancing patient record management or improving data security. And final one is deployment. Now it's time to release your software to the world. This is like reaching your destination and sharing your travel experience with others. For example, for a social media platform, deployment means making the platform accessible to the user and ensuring it runs smoothly with millions of interactions. The next one is maintenance the final phase maintenance is ongoing just like maintaining your car for future road trips you keep your software running smoothly let's say for example for educational software maintenance may include updating content fixing bugs and adding in new features as the educational landscape evolves evolves so this is all about spiral model a spiral model offers a dynamic risk focused approach to software development, ensuring that you navigate your journey successfully and continuously imp improve your destination. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for joining us today, and we will see you in the next video.